How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at Yale's Smart Safe. And this is smart because you get to connect your smartphone with it. And if you get to the Wi Fi bridge, it also means you can remotely connect to this. So you can do a bunch of stuff on the app, which we'll go through as well, which is pretty cool. As far as design goes, this is very discreet in terms of the color, uh, which is really nice, actually. I like this color scheme. And on the front, we have that brush metal finishing on the sort of opening area. And we obviously, obviously have our keypad entry uh, area there with settings button. Uh, accept button and a couple of lights there as well. And we also have our key entry here. So if for whatever reason you forget uh, your key, uh, your, sorry, your pin code, or you need to uh, get into it without a battery when the battery runs out, you can still get into it using your key. So keep that safe and secure. On the back, you can also just rotate that around. On the back, we have those four holes there, which means you can bolt this down at the location where you want it to be. So that way no one's gonna be able to carry this uh, with them and just try and figure out how to get into it later on. Now, by no means am I some sort of security expert or anything like that. So I won't be able to tell you if uh, this is fully secure or not or what certification has got or anything like that. So do your own research uh, when it comes to this. But as far as safe and just keeping your mind, keeping your peace of mind and you know having uh, something like this that you can control using your smartphone and keep track of things, this is a really good idea. I really like it. And it's it just feels really solid. And it's um, got two tray, two uh, tray system in there in terms of the shelving units so you can store things on top, the bottom layer. So Yale says you can store things like your jewelry in here. So if it's like really important to you, documents and all that kind of stuff. But obviously I've put phones in here, some loan phones that I've reviewed over the time, over the years. I've just put them in here just to sort of give you guys an example. So to get in here, um, which I'll go through the app as well. Uh, but before I do that, I'll just quickly show you what this uh, would look like. So now this is uh, disco discovered by my phone, if you can see there, very easy and straightforward. And that red just shows that this is in fact locked. So if I just tap that uh, red there, uses my face ID, because that's, that's what I've set on this, unlocks the, <laughs> the safe there, which is really cool, right? Um, it's very straightforward, like I said, um, it, does, it does exactly what it says on the tin. On the back, off the door is a battery case. Uh, so this is where you put your battery. So you've got uh, four AAA batteries in there. Um, there's also, let me just lock that back. There's also a light on here, which will eliminate what's inside. So if you, have to, if you were to open this in the dark, you'll still be able to see what's inside of it. But as you can see, there's a bit of a mess in there right now. I've got loads of phones just like dangling around. And that's because I was carrying this from one floor to another with everything in there. But each tray is nice and soft as well. So you've got this felt uh, finishing on the inside, um, which is really good if you're going to be storing stuff that you don't want to scratch up, like phones, for example, or uh, jewelry and all that kind of stuff. So you can keep it in there. I don't think this is uh, watertight or anything like that. So do not uh, buy this thinking if you happen to have flooding at your property, this will protect you. I don't think this would. Uh, but this is really cool. One thing I also love about this is the fact that if you have like Airbnb or shared space and you want to keep things secure, you can do this with this. So you can put stuff that's important in there and then you can share a key uh, with a potential user or other users in the household or whoever you want to give it to. But it's a nice thick door there. It's got these thick locks as well, the bolts that goes into the actual body there to make sure that's nice and secure. So no one's going to be cutting this. It's like anti-cutting, uh, anti-saw uh, system that they've got there, which is pretty cool. And then I'm just going to cover this code up. On the back door as well here, we also have like hooks to hook on keys. So you can put your keys in there. So if you have any like uh, safety deposit box keys or anything like that you want to keep safe, you can put it there so no one can get uh, access to those. So I think as far as design goes, very simple, looks very safe. Um, it's very easy to use. Uh, you can get into it using your keypads and stuff. And this is uh, connected to my smartphone. So we tap it, makes a sound to let you know that it's locked. So it's just as simple as that. So as soon as you're done with it, tap it on your phone. I've li linked this up with my face ID. So checks my face, locks it back up. And if I want to unlock it again, tap it like so. Within seconds, that automatically opens by itself, which is really good. Lock it back up and let's go through the app. Okay, so this is the full app and what it can actually do. So on the main screen, we see where it says front door, which is what I've named it. Uh, so in my office, so it says locked at the minute. So you can tap that just to quickly unlock it, use his face ID. You can hear the sound in the background and it opens up the, the safe itself. So to lock it back up, just close that, tap lock, use his face ID again, and just locks it into place, nice and straightforward. 
The next tab along the bottom here gives you like an activity history uh, of what's going on. So it tells me every time allocated users have opened and locked uh, the, the safe itself, which is cool. So you can, keep, you can keep track of who's been and out. So if something goes missing, you can say, well, you were there at this time, this place, et cetera, and it tells you, et cetera. It tells you exactly what you need to know. Moving along, this is the guest list, so you can invite people on, onto uh, the safe. So this way you can invite someone, um, give them a personal entry code or app access, so that way they can control this using an app or they can enter a code. So if you're, if you're traveling, for example, if you're away uh, for whatever reason and something's in there that's needed back home uh, and someone needed it, you can say, well, if you pop to the safe, I'll send you a code. Go there, unlock it, done. Very, very cool, very cool. And then we go to settings. So here we can see a house name and photo. So this is where I've named it, Tommy's office. You can add a photo as well. Just extra bits to uh, make it a bit more personalized. Uh, you can edit owners as well. So you can add new owners or remove owners and stuff like that. And then if we're going to lock settings, we can see the name of the, uh, the main door there. So I can change that name as well if I wish to do so. And then we've got hide ent uh, entry codes. So if you turn on, all entry codes will be within the app, will be uh, hi hidden from view, which can be good for safety or security rather and privacy. You've got verified access if turned on. So things like biometry, password authentication is required to operate the device with your phone. So things like Face ID will be required to use this. So if I turn that off, it means you can just load up the app, tap it. But you don't want that. You want to add that extra layer of security on there. You've got smart, smart alerts. So this will be good for uh, if someone tampers with it. Uh, so if I go here, create a new one, you can say alert me when the door is locked or locked by a specific user. So you can say Tommy or any user if you want. Click done. Choose a time, any time it occurs, or you can set a range if you don't want to be disturbed all the time. Save that. So now every time I open this, I'm going to get alerted to say someone's opened it or I opened it, for example, in this case. We can go to device settings and you can see that the uh, volume on here for the, for the sound, you can change that volume, which is cool. Uh, keypad settings on here. Operation mode, normal or privacy. Privacy just means you won't be able to see uh, the code and stuff like that or sound. So you won't be able to tell what's been pressed. And this supports uh, HomeKit as well. Uh, so with HomeKit, it just means if you get the Wi-Fi bridge, you'd be able to connect this to Wi-Fi and connect to it remotely and stuff like that. factory reset it and every other things that you can see there you can play with. So that's pretty much it with the Yale Smart Safe. It's a pretty cool kit. I think it's sizable as well. I think you can easily fit a 14 inch, actually I'll say a 13 inch MacBook, MacBook Air or something like that. You can fit that in here easily. And you can put maybe a, a camera, you can put a DSLR in there, yeah? So if you were to use this in your Airbnb, for example, in a shared Airbnb space, you can have it there so people can store their uh, personal belongings so no one else can access it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it's a very useful piece of kit. Um, it's not that pricey either. I think it's reasonably priced. The Wi-Fi bridge is quite expensive, though, I think, for the cost uh, that it's listed for. But other than that, I think it's a great piece of kit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it? Is it worth it? Would you buy something like this? Are you actually thinking of security and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, if this is your first time around here, please do subscribe, smash the bell notification as well. And uh, I shall see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.